Hey everyone, welcome back. Um, sorry no video last week, uh, and I, let me tell you why. So, right after I posted the video um, that Saturday, that following, the next Sunday, uh, my wife still hurting, still really bad pains. Um, she was waiting to get read the scan that they did a couple of days before on her gallbladder, but nothing yet. So she was in, she was hurting pretty bad. So got her to she. Uh, we actually had because I can't drive anymore, um, and she couldn't drive, and uh, so we had to she we had to get an ambulance to get her to the hospital. Um, she is fine, trust me. So they admitted her Sunday night. <clears throat> on Monday, they were. Um, they were going to do some more tests, and it was either Monday or t it was Monday. Um, they she she already had an MRI of her gallbladder area, but I guess it was a very special one that can get more into um, areas. And uh, they wanted to get an MRI of her bile duct to make sure it wasn't there was no gallbladder stone something bottle blocking that. Well, that piece of equipment decided to not play right play right not play nice and basically the, the easy way is it went and hey it's very it's very you know, it's funny you think about it now um but with that machine with that mri going down um she had to be taken to grand forks they had another mri mri there that, that, that they could look at what they need to and then um last thursday she had the surgery um, great success. Uh, she's her gallbladder has now been removed, and I, there was a there's a lot um, no cancer um, because one of the bile ducts was blocked. There was no cancer, so awesome with that. But the gallbladder was removed, and it was a uh, laparoscopic surgery, so she was able to come home um, that night. And my daughter Destiny is with her there at the hospital through all this and amazing. My daughter Destiny was there with her through this, the whole thing. Um, and my in-laws drove from Wyoming to be with her in Grand Forks and they came back here. And um, she's been resting, been healing, um, learning how to cook things different, uh, even more now because she can definitely, she says she can actually taste the grease and oil. So I'm very careful about that. But. Uh, with the 4th of July and everything going on, um, I just really wanted to be there and celebrate with them, but be there for my wife. I wanted to, if she needed me to jump, I was ready to jump. But with all that, she is now home, safe, very, 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 um, very well. I'm still sore, still healing, um, but I'm, I'm, I'm happy. Hopefully, like I said, this is going to help with a lot of the uh, issues that with her diet and everything that's been happening um, get better. So with this video, this is more of an update video on what I did those two weeks with all this going on. I did work in the studio. I did. Um, I did more to keep my mind from going crazy and not turning on the, you know, not turning the camera on because my wife was in the hospital. Um, and I will share that. Um, if I do have any videos that I did take, I'm definitely going to put it after this. Um, and then some of the pictures that I've taken. Um, but uh, got more done on the Iwo Jima this uh, she's getting very close and I got like I said I got uh, there's a lot going on there and then I started work on my clients Nissan Z it, it's a Nissan race car and I start going in explain to that when I go start the video for that and then the, the oogie boogie gear shifter I'm doing so I just kind of highlight on some of that and uh, with that though next week videos will be coming back um, Regularly now, I promise. Videos will be coming back because, like I said, the last couple of months or last few months um, have been have been very worried about her. So my heart's full, and she's home safe and resting and sound. And I thank God for that. And I thank you all for reaching out and giving your prayers and your support. It really means a lot to me. She thanks you. But that guys, um, like I said, she's home, feeling well, doing well, getting better. Um, instead of going through my usual, a hey, click on this and questions and uh, again, um, we thank you so much. So, with that, guys, let's go see what happens on the bench. Good morning, back to the bridge and back to the front main viewer area, and then 
yeah guys you remember all the work I did putting the fiber optics in and then trimming them so I could paint and all that and I just ah I didn't think it through well enough beforehand but now um, that's why I have removed the panels from the photo etch and I'm sanding this back down flat because if you look at this decal and this is what I'm going off of um, I'd have to mask this whole thing off to try to do these little patterns in here so that is not what I'm going to be doing right now so that's why I've got them moved off um, excuse me um, if you ever have to do that go back and sand down um, a little bit because you remember there's a lot of CA and all that so I just go back over and basically that's what I'm doing I'm making it smooth again I've already sanded down these guys now I gotta sand the backs but um, I didn't do this one yet so as you can see lots of, of uh, CA when I tried to glue it down and then I had to keep gluing it down so what I'm doing like I said is I'm coming back here and I'm just sanding all that down getting rid of it so I can make these guys fit back flush again and make sure they fit flush this time like they should and um, so yeah so after I get these guys sanded down then I'm gonna get these guys um, I'm gonna get uh, get them uh, taped down and uh, go from there and I will definitely be more than happy to I'm definitely gonna be sharing that with you guys but uh, let me get this stuff taken care of and then we'll go to the next step well welcome to the bench everybody uh, I know I explained it in my uh, in my intro so um, yes my wife is doing very very well still very sore but getting there so while she was in the hospital and then in Grand Forks and then you know back here last this last week um, I did build, but I, I, I did more to keep my my anxiety down because I couldn't be at the hospital with her. So um, I did build, and but I didn't turn the camera on. So um, because of that, I want to share. And uh, also, like I said in the intro, I am going to be back to regular videos next week. Um, unless, you know, other things happen. But so a um, few things. Uh, like I said, I've been working on that deck, um, but the big things that I did last week and this week, I have the island done, and very happy with that. Sorry, guys. I have the island done, and it fits very lovely. Also, um, with the ship, I went and I'll show you. I added brass tubing to the bottom of it and then put um, holes in corresponding because while I was you know m messing with it and looking around it loved to slide off this thing so I did not want to give my client one that liked to slide off and then would just go nowhere um, also uh, let me get it back off here real quick also I went in and I'm trying to find the best camera angle because this girl is long um, I added, oops, sorry, let me see if I can do it this way, here we go. I added the door, the back hatch to the well deck, and what I did with this is I made it where if the client wants to, he can, he can open the deck up, both parts here, and be able to look inside the well deck or show the well deck and what I did is I drilled holes for them and then the really cool thing is I took my um, I have those resistors and I you know or I have bulbs that I know I'm gonna have to cut down length so what I did is I took the uh, the ends off of my LEDs that I you know that I haven't used and I cut them to fit into the door um, it's strong and it's very small enough to do that so yay now here comes this part getting them back in it, it's easy it's not that crazy but gotta show you guys so you guys can see that okay 
big fingers I tell you and basically like I said I just I lined it up to the hole and I use my tweezers a lot trust me and it, the only reason I'm having trouble with this because I'm trying to share this with you guys too so there it goes um, come on sit in there see what I'm saying there we go and then you just get that just that simple I'm sorry guys that's so close up to the camera but all right I won't mess make you guys swatch that anymore um, and I'll put the other door back in later so um, this is what happens when you try to do in camera and yes I've had a little caffeine today I'm sorry for the shaking guys not much Dr. Pepper Zero but so um, get the door over here. I did get the um, the hovercraft. I've got one fully done. I've also got the landing bars done. You know um, that. Most of the uh, aircraft are all done painted. I'm just having to finish up the few decals. Uh, what else can I show you that I got done? Oh, wanted to show you this. And what I'm going to do is I am going to repaint this, but um, and then I'm still working on the color. I don't know if I want to go with that or something else, but I like and then um, put that in there, and I think that looks really, really cool. So, yay, that's getting done. Also, while I was waiting for certain things to dry, I started working on my other two, on my other clients' stuff. Now you guys, there will be a full more build video when I get into this. So here is the racer. This is the, all right, this is the Nissan ZX-T Turbo GTP. Um, very cool vehicle and I'll be going through that. But I, I did this 3 t printed on my, 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 uh, my resin printer and um, I'm doing some work to get to other pieces better so I have um, taken off so I can fix and do things inside and then trust me I'll have all those fixed but make it easier to work with because also I printed when it printed it printed this work here which is this and then it was just had all the, the the suspension all that so to make it easier and to be able to deal with it and do what I need to do um, I'm still learning my printer but um, I had it didn't break it apart like it should have been um, so the file I got so I have to learn how to do that but I've gotten it all cleaned up and that's a lot of cleanup and a lot of work going there and then um, on the uh, oogie boogie gear shifter I'm working on um, started uh, yes a lot of primer getting it sanded down um, some of the things I want to keep and then some things I don't added his arm getting this all touched up now and then yes put him in just like that so and then I'm looking to get some um, excuse me sorry um, some glow-in-the-dark paint um, that to represent the dice very well and then yes I am still with the bridge um, but uh, I was going to work on it and then, you know, then let that weekend happen. So, um, still there and that would be coming back now on a regular, regular basis because like I said, my wife's feeling a lot better. She, hopefully we got the thing that's been kicking her in the butt for, for the last few months and, um, or the last year or so. So, yeah. But, uh, so with that guys, um, sorry, this is very short update. Um, and I'll... I'll put in the video, I'll put the video in after, um, I, I want to do the pictures and whatever video I did actually record, um, I'll put that in there and it'll all be tied together, all the kits working, not like I've been doing, so, um, enjoy that, and, uh, with that, yes, I am still working on the bridge, um, but that, the, the weekend that I posted that video, um, the video the first video I hadn't done for you know since a while and then now this um, I'll be getting back onto the bridge because yes I definitely want to get that 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 thing finished I love it and I want to get it going more 
um, and then keep working on these client builds and then once I get the bridge finished I'll find something else to do. Um, I did do a couple of recordings so um, I'm gonna add that after this and uh, yeah so with that guys please enjoy uh, the video and like I said I will be back to steady 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 um, getting things done with the camera on. So with that guys, thank you for all the, the, the wish, well wishes, the prayers, and I really appreciate it. It means a lot. So with that guys, have a great, fun, and safe weekend. Have a great, fun, and safe work week next week, and I'll see you guys back here on the bench. Good morning. Back to the bridge and back to the front main viewer area. And then, yeah, guys, you remember all the work I did putting the fiber optics in and then trimming them so I could paint and all that, and I just... Ah, I didn't think it through well enough beforehand, but now um, that's why I have removed the panels from the photo etch and I'm sanding this back down flat because if you look at this decal, and this is what I'm going off of, um, I'd have to mask this whole thing off to try to do these little patterns in here. So that is not what I'm going to be doing right now. So that's why I've got them moved off. Um, excuse me. Um, if you ever have to do that, go back and sand down um, a little bit because you remember there's a lot of CA and all that. So I just go back over and basically that's what I'm doing. I'm making it smooth again. I've already sanded down these guys. Now i got to sand the backs, but um, I didn't do this one yet. So as you can see, lots of... of uh, CA when I tried to glue it down and then I had to keep gluing it down So what I'm doing like I said is I'm coming back here and I'm just sanding all that down Getting rid of it so I can make these guys fit back flush again and make sure they fit flush this time like they should and um, So yeah, so after I get these guys sanded down then I'm gonna get these guys um I'm going to get, uh, get them uh, taped down and uh, go from there. And I would definitely be more than happy to. I'm definitely going to be sharing that with you guys. But uh, let me get this stuff taken care of and then we'll go to the next step.